Good morning. I'm sitting here waiting for the train, so I figured I'd give you another provocative idea and thought. And the thought is, is why haven't in all these cities they haven't brought in the National Guard before now? And I'm going to explain to you what I mean by this. Like with all the violence you see right now in most of your major metropolitan cities everywhere from L.A. to Boston and everywhere in between. Like you have some of the highest gun rates and gun violence you've seen ever, including the 70s. Um, and you would think, you know, bringing in the National Guard, especially in the inner cities, would actually free up the cops to actually go after the guns and the actual violent crimes because then you station the National Guard in different areas where the drugs are being sold. So ain't no drugs being sold out on the corners, which means errant gun battles are going to get cut down. Then what happens is that the police can then actually patrol to see where people have moved indoors to try to uh, to to now um, sell drugs. So now the police become more effective and they don't have to worry about driving around looking at corners. They could be setting up and looking at houses and looking at the foot traffic and knowing that it's going to be a lot easier to catch them if you're in the house doing stuff than it is out, out in the open because it's a you know, it's right there for you. You can sit there and take pictures all day. There's no discrepancy of what's going on and so forth and so on. But the reason why this is not happening is because this country, we invest in prisons. So we invest, we make money off of throwing people in prison. And so when you make money off of throwing people in prison, your, your war on drugs is an oxymoron because how can you Make money off of throwing people in prison, but you have a war on drugs. Please explain that to me. That's the dumbest crap in the world. So what you're saying is, is that you're basically going to keep this, this, this so-called war going so that you can constantly have a revolving door in the prisons that you make money off of because you make money by throwing people in prison. Because if you really wanted to end the war, you could end that war in a week. Because if you posted people in all the hot, uh, the, the uh, National Guard in all the hot spot areas where drugs are being sold, you would literally in a month actually quell a lot of this crap. Because you would push it indoors, you would push a lot of the violence indoors. So innocent bystanders wouldn't be getting caught up in this. But this is not the goal. The goal is to never ever clean up the streets and if you think i'm lying how long have we been talking about this we can go back to i can go back to nancy reagan so we talking 30 daggone years what progress have they made look at the music that they put out on the radio they put music out there so these young that that actually is a chanting style that will actually influence and do certain things at certain frequencies to channel bad energy into these young people's mind see y'all don't get it it's a really dirty game like, see, people like Kat is out there trying to explain to the average person is so much more evil than you could ever imagine. And when God comes back, because he's coming back and exposes all of us, because all of us are going to get exposed. Thank God, because like this stuff has gotten to the point where greed has just circumvented everything that makes sense. And they said in the last days, what's good is going to be bad and what's bad is going to be good. You can basically see the book of Revelations playing out in front of you. So I'm telling you, literally, they are full of crap and they've never intended to end the war on drugs. They That's why they have decided to make money off of you. This violence is not going to end until God comes back because they are not Again, they are not interested in ending putting people in jail all the time for the same crimes. They're not going to stop the flow of drugs into this country. They just ain't going to do it. There's people making money off of the flow of drugs coming into this country before it even hits the market. There's people who make money off of that too in this country. So, thank you. And listen, pray that at some point somebody wakes up 
and really exposes how bad this has gotten and actually does something about it, not just expose it, but <laughs> which that ain't going to happen either. They ain't going to stop it. It's too much money flowing to flowing north and south. Like, shoot. They don't care. Love you guys. I hope you guys realize that I'm trying to educate you and trying to give you some game that you ain't going to get other places. Let's keep it real.